Here's just a quick video that shows the difference between um, net energy change and molar heat of change. So um, if I'm doing the, um, if I want to find out what the uh, heat of reaction is for this, I'll do the, the whole, uh, um, the heat of reaction is equal to, you add up the products minus add up the reactants. So if I add these up, that'd be, I don't know, I'll just guess, about minus 1600. This would be 12, maybe 1500, something like that. So altogether, that's about minus 3100. Uh, minus this one, that'd be about 160, and it's negative. So when you get them, they'll be about negative 2000, what is that? Uh, 940. That's just just guess guessing. So this I would say is the heat of reaction. Um, so if I have two moles of this it produ and reaction of seven gives you four and six, this would be your heat of react heat of reaction. And I guess you could say a net energy change uh, because you are picking the products and subtracting off the reactants. So a molar heat of reaction is, um, if, I, if I want to know the molar heat of reaction uh, for a particular thing, say of ethane, then I would take this number, 2940, and I would divide it by however many moles of that I have. So I divide it by 2, and that will come out to 1470 or whatever the number is, negative 1470. So this is the molar heat of reaction. This is just the heat of reaction. I guess some people might say that's the net energy change for that reaction. Hopefully that helps.